very, very productive and uh, informative session where experts have given their opinion and political leaders have uh, come out with uh, very straightforward uh, comments on the present situation. Well, let me be very honest. If we can have sufficient financial resources to, for whatever reason, valid as they may be, to cough out billions of dollars to support or uh, protect warring countries, and there's not one many crises are going around the world, which has created a huge amount of tension. And as a result, developing countries like Pakistan are suffering immensely in the hand of galloping international energy prices. Commodity prices. And on the other hand, to meet the basic requirements of large source of population which is suffering from flash floods to climate induced <coughs> devastation, they have to bend backwards to find physical space. And if you go to international agencies, you are told, look, you cannot ask for moratorium. And these are spaces probably you can have access to to get more loans and debts. Now please tell me, put your hand on your chest. Is this the way we are going to bring equity and fairness in our global village? That countries which have been ravaged by natural countries find it extremely difficult to meet it two ends together and where we find tensions billions of dollars are being pumped into by one party or the other that is something I think we have to turn to what uh, some of the honorable members have said, I fully endorse that it's not about charity. We're not demanding charity. We are approaching the global north, appreciate and understand our plight. So I know President was speaking a while ago what is happening on Africa. So what I'm saying is that uh, these comments must now be converted into something which is a plausible way forward. Therefore, of course, my brother Prime Minister Vijit said about uh, national coordination mechanism. When we have a wonderful coordination mechanism in Pakistan by the name of National uh, Disaster Management Agency and then accordingly in the provinces, provincial agency. <coughs> they are <coughs> well trained, capacity building keeps on taking place, but it's not about that. It's about how to financially empower them to meet the challenges 
where these devastations have taken place. Therefore, public debt and more public debt is not the answer. This will not help countries like Pakistan at all. We have to find physical space. And of course, these have to be measured in terms of robust mechanism, robust structure, whether the private sector or the catastrophe bonds, commodity insurance bonds, and so on and so forth, so that we are able to stand on our own feet. I would therefore endorse uh, St. John's proposition of uh, adaptation as top priority and it's profitable and the question is how to organize it. <coughs> we also we have touched about SDRs but there are many impediments on the way. Climate change tax is a sound proposition and if multinational global organizations come to agree that yes, here is a moment that we agree to contribute towards climate change tax that can raise hefty amounts so that those countries which are in need can be helped and supported through this mechanism and institution. UNDP, my friend has spoken this morning and just now I have requested him please come forward with some kind of uh, a plan whereby UNDP can also chip in. Ladies and gentlemen, I will not take uh, more of your time. A uh, $40 billion figure just mentioned by Secretary General. The peanuts, I mean, countries whose economies are literally ruined, raised to ground, they would need support which is dignified and which make those societies dignified through a plan through which they are able to stand on their own feet. And of course, uh, finally I would like to say that uh, we must speed up time and financing for protecting vulnerable communities and rebuild livelihoods. A risk reduction an early warning system should be put in place as soon as possible. And then we are, I agree, <coughs> definitely sleepwalking to suicide. I hope and pray to God this will not be the case. But I know that why will we were uh, going through this uh, carnage Pakistan, I have to import wheat worth billions of dollars, palm oil which was not available, fertilizer through great efforts to at least save our agriculture and for this we have to pay for our goods. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where I would like to rest my case. Please come forward with some solid solutions before it's too late. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.